Well, preparations are underway at hospitals across the country in case Ebola were ever to spread there. Even though it's unlikely, officials say you're never too prepared. Carrie Corrado caught up with doctors at Connemama Medical Center in Johnstown, and she joins us live now with the details on those preparations. Carrie? Good morning, Bill Lindsay. The CDC has been in communication with hospitals and airports all over the United States, and Kahnema Hospital is a part of that. They've been keeping themselves up to date day by day with CDC protocol, and we've been seeing a lot of the equipment, a lot of the medical staff has been using to fight Ebola. So now we got an up close look at it. Take a look. Ebola on U.S. soil, and hospital and medical officials are trying to stop it from spreading. And the staff at Kahneman Memorial Medical Center say they know what equipment to use and have it ready. This is called an impervious gown. The front of this gown uh, does not let any liquids get through it. And so if there's blood or saliva or anything like that that would contaminate the healthcare worker, this gown will stop it. It's important to have uh, shoe covers or boot covers. Uh, you do not want to walk out with your shoes covered with any contaminated material. Of course, you have to have some sort of gloves. And there are different types of masks. Um, the eyes and face have to be protected with some kind of a shield with Ebola, and so this would be one example. Uh, this, ha this protects against even smaller particles. We have uh, more complex equipment. This is called a Papper's unit. And you can see here there's uh, almost a helmet that comes down over the uh, worker and it's connected to uh, uh, an air supply here. Uh, and so in cases where uh, uh, we would be doing something like intubation of the patient, where you're putting in an airway, uh, the workers in the room would all be wearing something like this. Also taking the CDC protocols seriously. So for the most part, you don't have to be concerned. The, the people most concerned are the ones in healthcare because if someone does have symptoms, they're going to come here. There are thousands of employees at Condom, and the main ones who are trained on Ebola are the ICU staff and the emergency room staff, mainly because if somebody was infected, that's where they would go, and they hope to eventually train more employees as new developments with Ebola emerge. But we are live in Johnstown this morning. Carrie Corrado, 6 News. All right, Carrie, thank you for that. Thanks, Carrie.